What's up? Welcome back, Enchanters, to another and the, I believe this is the sixth piece in the Wave 1 series of the Disney 100 Iron Studios 110 scale diorama of none other than the iconic Pride Rock scene from The Lion King. Now, if you are meeting me for the first time, my name is Jean-Pierre Bon Jovi. I'm a collector and retailer. Many of the pieces you see here today, and we do carry Iron Studios pieces. We, we specifically specialize in Iron Studios Disney, Disney pieces. And if you are curious to see all the pieces in this collection, we will, at the end of this video, be showing you the previous unboxing we did, which was the Walt and Disney D23 exclusive. And speaking of that exclusive, we still have a few available. So go check out by clicking the link in bio. This is the lowest price you're ever gonna find them on our website, so go check that out. Um, shipping is already included. There is no sales tax on that piece either. We did pay full MSRP on those pieces, and they are currently fetching from anywhere from like $450 to $600 comps on the secondary market on eBay, which is insane. Um, again, only 500 ever made. We had opportunity to purchase a few units at MSRP and we still have about, I believe six to eight left if I'm not mistaken. So rush, 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 rush to our website to place your order. They will ship out towards the beginning of October. Uh, so if you are interested in those pieces, run, run, run. It's your only opportunity. And that piece is already nearly going to double, triple its value. It's already doubled its value at MSRP. And in a few years, I definitely see it tripling because Iron Studios is coming in hard with so many new licenses with their Disney collaboration. So, 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 so excited. So before we dive into this bad boy, I introduce myself. As I mentioned before, I'm a retailer. You can purchase this. We're going to link this below in our bio. There is no sales tax if you live outside of the state of Texas. Shipping is already included in the price as well, and you do get your points. There are no discounts on any Iron Studios pieces. That's the only thing on our website. It doesn't uh, take the enchanting code. It's just our Iron Studios partnership. That's about it. But go check it out if you are interested in this piece. Uh, you can purchase it directly through us. But most importantly, hit that smash button and subscribe if you love our content here. Uh, it means the world to have you here if the YouTube algorithm happened to have brought you by here. Here, this is your go-to channel for all the unveilings. We're the only YouTube channel that has unveiled every single piece and we're always the first to bring these to market and to y'all as well. So make sure you're following us. It means the absolute world. And we're doing a huge giveaway. So let's just see what that giveaway is before we unbox this bad boy. Hey Enchanters, we're doing a live giveaway for reaching 5,000 followers on either TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube. Yes, our goal is to get to 5,000 followers and subscribers on either three platforms. And we're not just giving away one, we're giving away two of the Cinderella and Mice painted and signed Jim Shore 2019 figure. Incredibly, incredibly sought after. This already has reaching comps of over $350. One of the most sought after grail pieces, which takes inspiration from the White Woodland. But this piece you can only have attained by meeting Jim Shore at a total of 15 signed events he did in worldwide in, U in the USA and in Europe. Now in order to enter, it's simple. All you gotta do is like this video, comment and tag a friend, and make sure you are following us on all three social platforms. The first two social platforms to receive 5,000 uh, followers, we will be giving these away. What are your thoughts, Enchanters? Keep collecting, and we'll catch y'all on the next one. Now, let's come back to this piece, and none other than the Pride Rock Lion King scene. Now, this iconic scene in the movie, I mean, is is unforgettable. It, this movie is what changed the trajectory, uh, alongside the Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast of uh, of what the Disney era was in the '90s, and brought Disney back to the foreground, to the forefront. Um, and again, this iconic scene, y'all. I mean, I can't even right now. Now, this is the deluxe version. We only carry the deluxe versions, if you're not aware. Um, Iron Studios creates three different versions of these. 
Um, they have their exclusive Disney 100, which is exclusive only in Iron Studios. It has a 100 plaque, but it's a lot smaller, the piece. They have the smallest piece, which is just going to be Rafiki and Simba. And then they have the deluxe piece, which we have today. And that's the only piece we carry on our website is the deluxe versions. And you're going to get Saravi, you're going to get Mufasa, Rafiki, Babies, Simba, and Zazu. It comes in this massive box, and it will come in a brown shipper box as well. Again, uh, if you want to get an up-close personal of what this looks like, this is the front, which is a zoomed-in version of the piece. The side will say the Lion King in that gold font. Again, it has this like royal blue purple print. The back is a zoomed out version of the piece. And on the side it will say Iron Studios in that gold foil. So you have a lot of that gold foil throughout the box. And on the very, very top of the box, you're also going to get that Lion King. The Lion King uh, movie title as well. So let's go ahead and dive into this bad boy because I know you're hell of excited as much as I am to open this up. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, again, uh, when, you, when it comes to Iron Studios, if you aren't familiar with who Iron Studios is, they're a Brazilian-based company and they specialize in one tenth skill figure. So that means if you were to get a figure and mount one on top of the other times 10, you get a life-size version of the piece. And they are the number one company in the world that specializes in polystone one tenth skill figures. These are all artisanal pieces and there's a process to them. They do come with a steeper price point, and that is because they are all hand painted. It's not like they just hand painted in one session. Typically, each piece takes about a week to create. So after it goes through the, you know, after the designer sculpt it and eventually mold it and create the polystone, it's then painted, and that painting process takes about a week. And this is all done by hand, airbrushing, uh, applying tape on each piece. It's such a meticulous process. And again, this is art, artisanal work and craftsmanship that 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 you can't just compare can't compare to. Um, unlike other figures that are made of just strictly resin, they do go through like a factory line process of being hand painted, but it's a quick, quick paint. Um, very little detail and love goes to them, and it's just paint and brush. This is airbrush. This is hand painted. This is adding some gloss components, other paints, washes, creating the right hues. Um, and that's why you do, these pieces do come with a higher price point. And a lot of people are not familiar with that and are always curious as to why these pieces are more expensive. And that is why. So if you didn't know, now you know. Uh, also, if you're a collector of these pieces, please, 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 never throw away these boxes. Uh, without the box, the piece literally will lose, these, these pieces in particular will lose 75% of their value. Automatically. You throw away the box and 75% of the resale value, if ever in the future you want to part ways with your collection, you lost it. Uh, you're, the only person who's gonna buy from you is someone who's local, which is like, good luck with that. You can no longer sell this to anyone else but anyone who's local. And without the box, you're literally losing 65 to 70% of the value. So do bear that in mind. Oh my God, y'all, I am so excited. I'm beyond thrilled, y'all. Now we are gonna, I'm gonna build, I'm gonna literally build this piece with y'all. And then after that, we are going to zoom in and i'm going to give this my final review i always rate these out of a 10 1 to 10 um so we always do that with all of our new pieces we are going to take this box and set it aside because it is massive and we want space here Urgh. all right let's get this bad boy up you always want to open this on the side that says iron studios up front first Uh, box cutter always comes handy. can't see a lot of pieces already so this is the top of the box always be very gentle when opening these sometimes some pieces can stick to the top be very mindful of that oh my god i'm so excited y'all i am so excited let's get our turntable here set the turntable right here oh wow so it looks like you're gonna get one two three four five six seven eight pieces we're gonna start with the base first If you are curious if these are numbered, they are not. 
Uh, Iron Studios does not add certificate of authenticity because they typically number their pieces. Um, but stay tuned because I think that may be changing. Um, um, so stay tuned. I do feel like uh, these will be numbered in the future. Now, if I had to take a guess of how many of these were made, just by you know just taking a guess, I'd say less than 300 or 400 of these were ever produced of the deluxe version. Again, I don't know that number. It's just based on just overall, just like how many people, this is such a new line. Um, a lot of people still don't know of Iron Studios, let alone that they have a partnership with Disney. A lot, I mean, in the collector community of statues, everyone knows who Iron Studios is, but a lot of the Disney collectors and fandoms don't, don't know as we're currently introducing. Iron Studios is really coming to the foreground as a, as a competitor in collectible figures and statues. So um, stay tuned because something tells me you will be getting numbered edition pieces like we did with the Wall and Mickey moving forward for later in 2025 into 2026. So let's take the base out. Wow, the base is heavy. It is none other than Pride Rock. Oh, wow. Not as heavy as the Sully and uh, the Monster Sink piece. That was massive. Now, this is the bottom of the base. If you did want to zoom in, there is, as I mentioned, no addition size to this piece. Okay, let's turn this around. I'm gonna keep this position my, facing my way, just so I can set all these pieces in. All right, oh, I'm so excited. So, so excited, so excited. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, sweet, okay. So the very first piece is going to be one of the trees. So I believe this comes with three trees. This is a circular one. There's three different pegs here. I think it's gonna go here if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, this is the circular one. And it has a little slight magnet as well. we go <laughs> we got the first piece in uh, let's go in with the next piece what do we oh we got another tree here and this has more of a square peg maybe here yep there we go that one actually fit a lot more flush and the magnet fit together and I'm gonna have y'all zoom in on that in a moment and this is like yeah this is the last tree piece that. Again, we're going to zoom in on all these details in a moment. I know y'all are already a little zoomed in, but here we go. It was a quick flush, too. So I will have that rotate so y'all can see that. So that's just right there, the three, um, the three trees. So it's Pride Rock above the African Sahara, and it just looks phenomenal. Again, those are the three trees. They look hyper-realistic. Um, something to know with this base as well is if you zoom in around the base, there are just iconic scenes from the movies from the animals to the elephant to skull. You, have, you see Timon and Pumbaa, you see Simba grown up as well. You have the baby Simba um, when Rafiki cracks open. I believe it's the mango that's at the uh, and he paints it red. That's right here at the very front of the piece as well. You have Scar and Simba fighting. So it's all etched around the piece which is so freaking amazing. Wow, 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 Okay, let's stop that there and let's move on. So uh, the next piece we have is, yes, it's Rafiki and Baby Simba. I'm so excited for, oh my God, this looks amazing, y'all. Wow. And by the way, if you are a collector and you love The Lion King and you want to collect this series, do know that the scar exists as well. We do have it on our website. It's uh, we have the deluxe version, which comes with the three hyenas as well. Um, it's that be prepared scene. Looks phenomenal. Uh, next we have Saravi. We have Simba's mom. Oh my god. I remember being a kid and collecting the action figures. And this just brings me back to that. 
right, we are going to connect her at the base here. Okay, great. So she is magnetized. The back peg has a really strong magnet too, and so does the front. And again, these are just, these are fitting in beautifully. The next piece is Mufasa. And rest in peace. Uh, this week we got the unfortunate news of the voice actor Earl passing away. Oh my God. How stunning is that? Wow. And Mufasa actually has the mixed media whiskers, which is really fun as well. I love, love, love that uh, little special touch. And there's one final piece here and it's the smallest piece and it's none other than Zazu. Wow. And I think you key in here, mister. Do I have to stand? I think I may have to stand for this. There's uh, this, his peg is a, it's almost like a needle and it's gonna fit, there we go. Into that hole. And there we have it. All right, let's spin this around. My God. All right, y'all. So here we have this masterpiece. Zoom in on these details. Again, we mentioned the base. We mentioned them watching over um, as their, you know, it's Simba's initiation to the animal kingdom. And you have the base. And then here you have them in their full, full glory. What a beautiful piece. Their eyes glisten. Baby Simba is just, it literally, it just took the piece right from the movie and they recreated it. And it's just like, he's in, he's, he's just like he's in shock. He's so tiny. Um, it just this perfection, y'all, I can't even. Y'all, I always get emotional with Iron Studios pieces. It's like after every piece, it's like, how can they keep outdoing themselves? And they just do, y'all. Wow. The only characters we're missing now is um, Nala um, and Simba as their cubs uh, playing around. We are also missing Nala and Simba grown up and Timon and Pumbaa. So who knows, we may get those pieces in the future, but what a beautiful collection. I, this piece is just majestic. So I'm gonna zoom y'all in, bring y'all closer. We're gonna give this my final review. Um, things that I may have wanted to have seen in this piece, uh, but I am beyond, beyond impressed. Let's take y'all on uh, a little closer and let's experience this. All right, Enchanters, here we have it. So let's start off with Zazu. I mean, he looks phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. I mean, just the details on this. So this is the bottom base. My only thing I wish would have been awesome is if they would have added these little miniature animals throughout the entire base, like the elephants and the giraffes, that would the rhinos, just, it would have made it like so much more epic. Um, again, not necessary, but we've never seen that in a statue. Uh, the fact that they've incorporated all four iconic characters was just in and of itself amazing. So here we have Zazu and he looks phenomenal y'all. Um, his eyes are closed. I think I also would have preferred him with his eyes open and both of his wings may be expanded. One is, uh, one is on, you know, one isn't expanded, the other one is, and his eyes are closed. Here we have baby Simba, y'all. And just look at the details on that. Just, just, just perfection. Mufasa. I can't, man. The paint job on this is just a work of art. Pride Rock, like how it's kind of distressed and it looks like that real, it looks like real stone is phenomenal. Sarabi is looking off to the right across her shoulder, iconic and capturing just the scene itself. And then again, we have Rafiki. What is my overall rating y'all? This is a solid 9.5. It's just absolute perfection. Uh, what would I have added? Maybe the animals, obviously not necessary. Would it have made it so much more epic? Yes. But the base is stunning. 
the nods that you see. Again, you're going to see these little Easter eggs throughout the base. As you can see, the elephant um, skeleton. You have the these African tribal marks. Simba grown up. There is the baby Simba with the little red fruit. Uh, that's the front of the piece. There you have Simba and Scar battling that iconic scene. You have Mufasa, remember who you are in the cloud scene. Again, um, just beautiful. There's Timon and Pumbaa. <laughs> <laughs> so again, a lot of a lot of awesome little Easter eggs on the bottom base, and I think that's super spectacular that they did that. Um, I, they didn't have to, and they did, and just what an incredible piece, y'all. Curious to know what your thoughts are. Will you be adding this to your collection? Um, this is this isn't for the faint of heart. This is you know this is the creme de la creme, the Rolls Royce of statue collectability when it comes to Iron Studios. No one's doing what Iron Studios is doing. Um, if you collected the World of Disney Caboodles collection, um, this is obviously a little bit more elevated than that series, but that no longer is in existence, nor do they make them. So this is, this is, this is just, this is as good as it gets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so curious to know what your thoughts are, Enchanters. Don't forget to hit that smash button, subscribe, comment below, enter into our giveaway as well, and I will catch you all on the next one. Bye!